Hello there, this is Josh from SuperNerdFactory.com. Today I'm going to be playing Alto's Adventure. Um, this was a game that initially came out on the Apple Store for iPhone, iPad, and it was a pretty popular game. It still is. And um, it re recently came out on the uh, Google Play Store. It is a free-to-play game, and um, there's not a lot to this game, but it, it does have enough to kind of keep you interested here. It is an endless runner, so it's all about the points and seeing how far you can go. Um, I'll show you some gameplay here. So, um, controls are super easy. You literally just tap the screen to jump. And if you hold the screen, you'll do a trick in the air. Um, pretty much a backflip is all you do. Um, pretty much like any endless runner, you have to avoid any kind of obstacles. And you're kind of collecting whatever you can. This game has multiple collections, like, like coins, as you can see there. Um, and I already screwed up. Amazing. Um, so, let's see what happens here. All right, so it keeps my distance there, distance traveled, trick score, which is pretty much just like the backflip that I did at the beginning. Um, coins collected, so it's going to keep this stuff. And as any endless runner, you kind of the main goal is to try to top your score and always try to do better. And it does a pretty good job at making you want to play the game more and try to do better because you any mistake that happens is pretty much on you. It's not like the game screws you over or anything. Uh, the levels are randomly generate it so you can't really get used to it so you kind of have to stay on your toes um collect the llamas here so as you can see day night cycle it's night time seem also random um collect some coins here um some rocks to jump over not a ton of obstacles but um one thing like doing a flip here i'll do a flip here when you land a flip successfully you see i get a nice little boost there and man i suck I got a nice little boost there, and um, it gave me a, a dome shield. And that dome shield allows you to run through anything that was in your way, such as like a rock or something. But, I mean, that's, I would say, a higher higher level way of playing just because you don't want to take the chance that the dome shield disappears while you're going. And, man, I am not off to a good start here. Um, um, as free-to-play goes... Um, you can see here that these are the goals that it gives me, and these goals will evolve as I complete them, which is kind of the the carrot at the end of the stick type of situation. Um, so you can see it starts off pretty simple here. Travel 5,000 meters in total, um, which it doesn't have to be um, in one shot. It's just if I keep screwing up as fast as I keep doing, it's still going to count it, which is kind of cool. Um, not always the case, but in this case it is. Um, score 5,000. Um, wow. Score 500 trick points, um, which um, is trick um, like grinding on something or doing a flip, that sort of thing. Um, I believe even like busting the rocks counts as a trick. Uh, pick up a, a coin magnet. It's just like a, a, a pick up throughout the level, which hopefully I can get far enough to show you guys. All right. I'm going to try to focus here and stop screwing up. Get them mad coins. You, doing flips really aren't necessary. I just tend to screw myself over. And even if I'm not recording a video, I tend to screw myself all the time just because it's the Tony Hawk in me that always wants to do the flip. I don't know why. Flips are just cool, I guess. Just jumped off the rock there. Jumped the fire. So I just beat my record. I know everyone's impressed with that. Got a nice little ramp here. So here's the grinding, kind of grind on there, which you'll see goals are knocking a certain amount of flags down. There's the magnetic pickup, which, as you can imagine, just picks up any coins in the vicinity. Very simple, very easy game. For the most part, pretty stress-free, so it's a chill game. Perfect for phones because it doesn't require a lot of time, especially the way I'm playing. Um, as you can see, there was a patch of ice there, which um, gives you that bubble shield, makes you go real quick, which is nice. Gap there, which obviously you can only grind across. Um, the feather just makes you hover, which I think you fly over rocks and things like that. Obviously, the goal of that is to just get as far as you can. So as you can see, I have a countdown there. That dude is chasing me. He's a, he's a jerk. Um, 
the only way to get past them is to keep doing tricks and stuff to kind of keep the boost up to keep in front of him um oh man he's getting closer now like um he's i believe he keeps chasing you till you hit like one of those gaps where he obviously is not going to be able to to keep following you at that point click mad llama son all right so i got a pretty good distance from him so i'm not super worried about him they kind of add this stuff in there oh no Whew. doing that flip kind of saved me there got a little closer than i would have liked okay so that's what i'm talking about he no longer can follow me so i escaped him which is good you know there's it's the risk award type of game you know if you want to if you're more of the risky person you're going to be doing a lot of flips grinding a lot of stuff to doing stuff just to get every little extra point that you can or depending on the goal that's given to you um you're going to um you know if you have a goal that just to make an x amount of space in or x amount of distance in one run you're going to play it safe Ooh, that was almost horrible i almost fell right down that hole there um like i said just my play style i tend to do a lot of jumps and stuff just because i don't i don't know it's just cool i guess <laughs> see i just busted that rock because i did a, a trick there and land it which gave me the bu bubble shield which gave me some trick points got it again just can't help but do flips flip all day every day look at that llama sliding down the hill silly llama but as i said i mean it's a it's a pretty chill game um there are unlocks for other characters which um kind of switches up the the goals in the game oh there's another old man here now as endless runner goes this does go forever so Right now, I'm just kind of playing just to see how far I can get here. Um, but pretty much what you've seen now, like as, I, as I've gone through here, is pretty much everything the game is. So, um, as I said, very simple game. Not, not a lot to it, but um, it, it, is, it has the oddly addicting way that the that runners have. Okay, well, I, I did that on purpose, I promise. Um, so... As you can see here, so I clicked at 442 of the, the stars here. So I'm going to end the run. Um, so it's going to show me which goals I finish here. And it's going to give me the new goals. I leveled up to level 4. So Spook 15 Birds, which um, is obviously easy. You just kind of get that from playing. Snowboarder at Night, which technically I just did, but I didn't have the goal, so it wouldn't have unlocked it. Um, land 2 Combos. Land a 2 times combo, which is super easy all right so um distance traveled here did a little bit better than the last time here got some tricks here um coins collected 319 coins and um it's just kind of adding the points here bonus scores here as you can see by the times there and um it always ranks your high score um if you're logged into your account it will actually rank you to your to your friends and stuff which is always cool and let's see if I can go through. So um, let's see. So you can watch videos like free-to-play games here to get um, free coins and stuff like that. And um, I don't know, let's see. Like I said, that's pretty much it. I mean, at, at one point, once you actually level up high enough, you'll get to a point where you'll unlock different characters. But they all do the same thing. I, I believe the second character is just like a a girl version of this character and um and um yeah it's pretty cut and dry it is a fun game so i definitely think it's worth a try i mean obviously as you can see it, it's not like a huge time sink and you know whatever if you uh if you, you know you're playing at the bus stop or something you have to go you have to go it's not really the end of the world um the main thing is just the goals on top of the endless runners which um endless runners i think don't have as many cool goals as this does so that's i would say the big um carrot at the end of stick for me that's one thing I, I really did like and i had a lot of fun trying to complete those goals um but that's pretty much it for alto's adventure i'm like i said definitely check it out thanks for watching the video guys remember check out supernerdfactory.com for more cool stuff